Hey guys, so uh, thanks for tuning in again. Uh, here we are for the third in this uh, inadvertent trilogy about the five Beast Morpher Zords that have just been released in Smith's Toys in the UK. Uh, so in video one was the unboxing and my kind of initial thoughts, uh, but I had no idea how to put them together. I've since looked at all five instruction booklets uh, and then we made video two, which was the transformations. So some of them have got two transformations, some of them have got three. What we haven't done yet is any of the combinations. So this third video is gonna be based on that. And hopefully, all being well, we won't run out of battery this time. So here we go. Um, back on the shelf, we've got Megazord. So we'll definitely be uh, looking at how uh, the Beast Morphers Megazords are compared to this guy. And also, uh, remember the Blaze Megazord. And speaking of Blaze, we've also got 12 inch Blaze, so yeah, we've got plenty of comparisons to make. Please keep asking questions in the chat, I find it very interesting. Um, right, let's hope Legacy Megazord's knees don't buckle on the fireplace shelf while we wait. Okay, so, okay, so there is a boring one. I mean, it's probably not going to be boring in the show, but I'm going to do it now because it's the best time to do it. This is where you take silver and red and you combine. There's just no good time to do this one. So yeah, we're gonna do it now. And hopefully I'm gonna remember how this clips on. there I feel like it's there you see uh, red's got this indentation which we'll actually use in it again later on and then we've given him this oh, there goes the, the cheetah head again guys when you get your cheetah sword you're gonna really enjoy that okay We go apparently this mode in the show has flight capability um, I don't know what the name of it is but uh, it's it's in the instructions and it's interesting it's kind of cool again uh, reminds me of kind of dino charge the idea of the limb swap era and kind of of ninja storm the way the samurai star could combine differently with uh, the Thunder Megazord and the Storm Megazord. Um, so yeah, that's an easy one. Just wanted to get that out of the way. Very tight grip in this hand. Very tight grip. She tears off again, but that's fine because we are doing Megazord. And now we have actually done one of the arms the right way. So almost as if you're putting him back in race car mode, go like that. And now we've actually left two slots open for what will become the new Megazord arms. You want to pull up the head, send back his cool guy sunglasses, and fold down the toes. It should now be obvious which one we're starting with. I'll move that back over there. For now. Okay, so yellow. Yellow is, I found no easier way of doing this than just, this is the bit that feels a little dicey, but it does work. So uh, yellow's hind legs now can, am I right in thinking they now twist around, revealing the port which will plug into the cheetah sword and uh, new fists come out of the base. You want to take these off as well, they're kind of booster rockets. You'll find that they will slide off one way better than the other. There's the hand. Again, it's a bit of a, bit of a nail operation. There we go. Third time lucky. Great. And then blue. 
Now, how, how many pieces do I want this guy in? Again, try and remember to always take it off slightly ajar. Also, um, try and line up the, uh, you see the, the arm bits? Try and line them up again um, before you take them off because it's much easier to do it that way than trying to do it with your fingers. It's just a lot rougher. Okay, so we've kind of created this mess of parts. Um, and yeah, parts builders can be quite fun, at least I think so. Helicopter pad, pad is now the base. These wheels will fold in. These will clip on here. Surely. No, that can't be right. That's going to Yeah. Again, fold the tires in. Clip these bits together. You see the ports fit together quite nicely. This bit confuses me, just how these slide in. I don't know what it's gripping onto. Sometimes it works really well. Sometimes not so much. Let's do the uh, arms while we, while we struggle. Again, it's these uh, square ports, so go in slightly angular. He's got some new arms. Oh, that one's on. That one's on good. missing here like why I can't seem to work it out okay yeah that's it sometimes it happens first time all right tuck away the gorilla face the wheels are gonna be facing downwards this time so use the tuck in the slider bits and just kind of tuck them on here. Aim for 90 degrees, I guess. Uh, the Cyber Shark 99. The connections seem better than Japan in the leg parts. I just broke some pegs yesterday. No way! Are those your Go Busters Zords? Does anyone know if the uh, Korean Go Busters, if they were exactly the same or if they were more durable? Because that could be a way to go. Okay, so you see this has got this big bulky tab which was used in the Wheeler Zord. Actually fits perfectly in here. Uh, what's next? So um, the kind of the bits that aren't going really going to be used. This and the monkey bit, monkey business. These slot in together somehow. I forget how. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. These two holes, these two tabs, in they go. Literally just another kind of friction thing. And then this square, that square. This is, not gonna lie guys, wobbly. Stays on, but also wobbly. Luckily, it's on the back, so you don't have to look at it. Then you use these ports to attach the heads of the cheetah and the jackrabbit, so they become like these uh, really cool shoulder pads. The helmet is odd, it's basically like this bucket piece and this front piece, and you're basically gonna entomb Cheetah's head using these two pieces, and you're gonna line up the ports and just kind of tighten it up. Oh, and that's just gone, okay. And uh, nearly last, Take the uh, bunny ears, clip them on the side. I have left a booster rocket on somewhere. Yes, I have. Uh, that way is usually easier. Yeah. 
how tall is the combined form of the Beast X Megazord? Uh, would you say about 12 inches? There's the sword, now dressed up with the yellow booster rockets. And there is Beast X Megazord. I like this guy. He's... It's, it's just very um, well thought out. Um, it's very sleek. You'll notice it's a lot skinnier than the, uh, Jap the Bandai Japan versions. It actually kind of reminds me of what they did for Legacy Thunder Megazord. And um, if I'd, uh, if I'd thought to bring it down, um, I'd stand them side by side. I feel like they are pretty much exactly the same size. Here he is with 12 inch Blaze. You see Blaze is now looking a little bit short next to the Rangers. A little taken aback. Also, let's talk about the real selling point here. Elbows. This Megazord has elbows. Just let that sink in for a minute. Plus these can twist out, plus these can go up. It's a little bit wobbly, but I think it works. Let's have a look with Legacy Megazord. And Super Ninja Steel's Blaze Megazord. Yeah, he's a lot taller. So, that's Beast X Megazord. We like. Let's see what Gold and Silver do. This one, I got the name wrong yesterday. Well, actually, I referred to it using the name that are in the instructions. The actual name is Striker Megazord. Remember these bits? These now can be folded up, revealing the new head, the port, can get to it, comes down. And this is now going to be its front piece. And this is actually kind of wobbly, guys. And this, I do, I do quite like this. So you see these two silver tabs here? They actually friction into these gaps. Oh, that is if you can make it not fall apart. Cool. So there's that on. Just like uh, the red sword held the plane part in its other hand, that goes there. Wonder what to do with the ultra sword head? Of course you are. That actually goes into this little tab here. Just kind of rests there. And there's Striker Megazord. As you can see, uh, it doesn't gain any height, so it's still exactly the same height as the Wrecker Zord was on its own. This bit is the most frustrating bit, I'd say, um, just in that it, yeah. But it's fine and everything does stay attached. Um, also, if you raise his arms, you'll notice he kind of has a bit of a terror charge Megazord lean problem, um, at least when you combined the Zords with that. And here he is beside uh, the main Megazord. Let's back this up so we can get both in frame. And wow, it's just a, a, a just a little bit shorter if you go from head to head from Megazord. It's probably going to be 
Yeah, the heads are kind of in the same position. There's Blaze doing his thing. Hating on Nate. And Steel. Ah! Oh, wow. Okay. Well, on that note, let's uh, start thinking about Ultra Zord mode. What have you guys been saying? Um, can the front of the jackrabbit attach to the back of the Megazord combination without using the torso of the gorilla? That is a good question. Um, I don't think so. If you look how far away the jackrabbit is, and also it doesn't really leave much space for anything jackrabbity to hook on. It's just kind of a, a looser version of the uh, Titanic Charge backpack. Uh, Frankly, I'm surprised I'm saying this as I'm a huge fan of the Megazord design, but these actually look better combined. Oh, nice. The missing paint apps aren't as obvious too, which helps. Oh, that's good. The elbows on the BeastX Megazord joints show a bright future for Hasbro's Megazords. I agree. I really agree. Um, you probably can get a bit more flex out of his legs as well. Um, Really, it's it's very different to the brick style that we're much more accustomed to. Sorry, I'm uh, doing all this off frame. Yeah, I'm trying to get these out again. So we're kind of done with the, the uh, Striker Megazord head now. I can go back in. Leave these on. I think we leave these on. Oh, also, this blue thing is a button, and it controls a spring, which is kind of helping these pieces stay attached. See that? This is coming undone. Toes wrapping back around. Uh, hold the silver part to push this back in. You do want it to be flush. And then that's the base. This goes sideways. That's the new going to be the new toe for the Ultra Zord. Do the same again on this side. Push in the spring bit. Make that go sideways. Take your toe back around. There you go. This is actually uh, much like the the uh, Dino Charge Ultra Zord. You see the uh, oh sorry, you see the crane does actually detach if you want it to be, but um, there is only one one slot hole on the hand for it to go on. All right. Also, I, I totally missed this the first time. That's the handle that the Ultra Zord will hold when it's uh, in its final weapon mode. Um, you can also, I've noticed, hide the screws and hide the uh, hole so you can have it be completely silver. Next up, what we're we doing next, um, you want to take the sword and you actually you want to take the uh, Beast X Megazord helmet and it's going to wear the helmet. Of course it is. And the sword just kind of the handle inserts in here. And there you go. There's its new Ultra Zord weapon. Really cool. Really massive. It does not stand. It's kind of like a legacy uh, Mega Dragon Zord uh, stuff. So, some things have got to change here, obviously. First thing, monkey, monkey face is coming off. So, uh, I believe, do the shoulder pads come off? Let's leave the shoulder pads there for now. These definitely come off. This will now uh, fashion onto here. Okay, we may need the instructions for this one. This is something I'm not so keen on. So these become the new arms, but they kind of seem less impressive. See, they've just got hands on this side and uh, ports up here. Also, they don't really feel as attached 
I think because the, uh, the insect parts are kind of getting in the way. Oh, there goes Legacy Megazord. Stick his new shoes on. Uh, nicely line, lined up parts here. Probably some of the easiest bits to get on, so long as. Oh, that's coming off again. Yeah, I think it's it's actually easier if you don't have it attached to the Megazord. This is only my second time putting the Ultra Zord together, so. Yeah, that is a very intensely stable connection. So these guys. It's weird, sometimes they just, it holds, and other times it doesn't. I'm sure that in a day or two I'll work out why. Next, so he's at this time, plane's going to be held in his right hand. These are going to be changed around again. I think you want to put them back into this mode and put the fists away. So um, there's the elbow, a closer look at the elbow in case you're interested. It does go 90 degrees. When it closes, it does so with a nice clip. Okay, this. I struggled with yesterday. I know it's that way around because it nearly fell off a few times. I feel like it's this way. And then you see we've got the same uh, friction bit which fits in the back of the red sword. Oh, but don't do it before doing the helmet. Take your Ultra Zord helmet, the back of the bucket piece, originally from the Yellow Zord, used in the Beast X Mega Zord. Sorry, I couldn't find the same affection bit in the back of the Red Zord in your music. No, you wouldn't. And getting very precarious. So this is actually going to be. Uh, the one that Amazon is stocking for 2nd of September release. Obviously without the exclusive parts, the five Megazords, oh, sorry, the five Rangers on the loading bay. This now is gonna just go on top. Um, it's got like a round hole and that's gonna connect up here. It does so with extreme vigor. And this is gonna be the new front chest piece. I'm just going to check that I've got it the right way up. Let's consult the manual. Good lord, it's the size of this thing. Okay, I put the yellow bits on wrong, so I'm going to change them. Uh, cool. Instructions seem to be showing the taller blades at the top, so that is correct. Um, so these bits, in some, these bits need need to be the other way around. This bit just needs to go on here without breaking. Ah, well, nearly. I feel like it needs to be a little bit like that. Just 
and put his uh, new staff in his hand, which does, to be fair, have a really good connection. Apologies if anything's wrong, but I think I'm about there. Here is a Beast X Ultra Zord. All five Zords co combined together. It's big, like, it's, it's big, you know? What have you guys been saying? So Jamie Marshall, then we have the Ultra Zord. I don't like it as a cluster. It's definitely a cluster. And I think the Beast X Megazord almost is a bit better for that because it still retains a lot of its posability. This one, it kind of fights you if you want to pose it. Um, you see this staff is it's just a little too central. I, I quite like to put it out to the side. Um, but you, you, can't, you can't really. It's just a that the arm is too small and too um, compacted by its side to achieve that. Um, you can, I've noticed, twist the arm around and that means that you position the staff um, further along the outside. Let's give that a go now. And you can also, um, because, because of the way these ports have to be hidden away in, in the jet mode, you can actually um, pivot them up, but then it means that the uh, staff is off the ground. But that doesn't look too bad, actually. G Diggers, do you think the gold frog submarine zord from GoBusters will make its way into Beast Morphers? Uh, as I understand it, the frog was in one of the Beast Morphers uh, movies, and we don't usually get movie uh, exclusives uh, come through to Power Rangers. However, they have burnt through all the Zords pretty much this year, apart from that Lion Cycle thing, which the red one um, can ride um, and forms another Megazord. So I kind of hope they will do the frog, just to kind of give us a seventh Zord. We'll see. Soldier, I would think so. With how Hasbro is making the Zords, be a simple recolor and slight remold of the other Zord. Yeah, yeah. The frog and the uh, uh, jackrabbit apparently in Japan use the same base mold anyway, so that's uh, not going to cost them too much. I think the Mantis legs are switched around. You may be right, actually. Let's go back to the manual. Uh, so on this one, silver blades are the other way around. Yeah. Let's do a swap. Sweet. <laughs> There's so much to consider with the uh, Beast X Ultra Zord. You do just keep thinking, have I done this? Have I done this? Have I done that? Have I thought about that? Um, yeah, a lot to think about. You notice as I kind of move the arm up, it starts to push off the hand and it's actually just disconnected. It, it it does connect best, just like that, but with enough kind of uh, gentle manipulation, you can get it to lift the arm. Oh, head twist as well. Should have mentioned that back in Beast X Megazord mode. And you do still have some twisting in the legs. Obviously, it can't do as much leg posability as it could back in the uh, Cheetah Zord mode. Yep, Blaze just doesn't quite know what to do about this one. You can arrange the fins of the jet booster so the gorilla wheels don't fall off. Arrange the fins of the jet booster. Oh yeah? 
do you think go up? Is that, is that better? It's weird that in the instructions they seem to like to have the Ultrasword blades really quite uh, upright. How does he compare to Go Buster O? Uh, unfortunately, I never bought the Go Buster toys. Um, I said this in um, the unboxing live stream actually that I was so worried about the clip breakage, which seemed to be affecting the Bandai Japan toys during those couple years. Uh, I thought ah, it'll be fine. Power Rangers will get to it and hopefully make a version that doesn't break apart. Um, obviously, then I didn't know that we'd be waiting seven years for it. But Hasbro have clearly seen the value in these Zords. They are so different from what we've had in Samurai and Megaforce and Super Megaforce, Dino Charge, uh, Ninja Steel. These are just... We've never had Zords like this. They Sometimes, they're, they're, you know, they're vehicles, they're animals. Uh, they're, some of them can be their own Megazord-style class robots. Then there's different combinations. They are a lot more complex than what Power Rangers have been putting out there for years. And you notice that from the box that now it's eight plus. There's a lot to think about. And if you're a kid, you know, um, be patient with them because um, it might take you a while to work out how these go together. Definitely, you know, use the instructions. They've they've uh, they've made them colour, and it's it's made them a lot easier to understand. Um, you know, um, just try and fold up the giant one. Yeah, these are really good. Um, if, if you ever found the old black and white instructions hard to follow, um, these can be tricky in places, most probably because we're just not used to them. But, you know, I used all of them yesterday when I was learning the different modes. And as long as you can do that, as long as you have um, uh, the kind of patience and the time, you can work out each and every mode. Um, I think that probably took me about an hour and a half um, to go through everything. So, yeah, it is... Um, it's very enjoyable. This is such a, a good series to jump on board with if you um, haven't either haven't ever bought Power Rangers before or um, have been out of it for a couple of years. You know, look at this in comparison where, there you go, now you've got a Zord, now you've got a Zord. It's it's completely different um, with to this where you actually have to think about what 30 something pieces and where they all go. Uh, Sammy said, I think this is going to get discounted heavily during Black Friday and Christmas. It's too busy and too pricey for most kids to enjoy. Yeah, I mean, I do think at the moment the RRP is quite high for what it is. Um, I think they probably, I would expect, can probably sell it for less and still make money on it. So we'll see what happens there because, yeah, these are not cheap. This is the most expensive Megazord in a long time. I think the the last one that was this expensive was the terrible uh, 2017 movie combination Megazord. Um, and I'd say this is a bit more fun than that. Uh, can he still kick forward? Uh, uh. <laughs> if you really want to, I mean he's not going to be able to hold it, but yeah, he can he can still raise a, raise a leg. The fact that you can still twist his legs, I think, is very impressive. Here's a look at that weapon as well. It's a good toy. Ha. So yeah, are you guys going to be getting the... Oh. As you know, that has been an issue throughout this entire video. Yeah, there's probably a, a proper way of clicking that one, which I will research and find out. I will still do a, a quick summary review of... Uh, well, this is annoying as well, by the way, um, because it's, you know, the, uh, the gold sword. It doesn't clip on, so over time it is just falling down, but it should stay up. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Can Would you think you'll be buying one yourselves? Um, will you wait for the Ultra Zord set? I'd probably recommend that if you have the patience for it. I, I obviously did not. Um, 
Or are you going to wait and see if there's any Black Friday Christmas discounts? And hopefully we'll get Takuja toys and a fully articulated Takuo. So I'm not a fan of, of Takuja. I'd be quite happy if they just skip that series. But, you know, looking at the Sentai that we've had over the last few years, I don't really rate any of them. This is the, the kind of last series um, where I thought, wow, that is really impressive. Um, some of them can be quite interesting, but uh, a lot of them have been such simple combinations that... And not even satisfying combinations that are, uh, yeah, I'm kind of left not feeling like I need them. Go Busters, though, was always a series where I thought that would be really cool if it came to Power Rangers. Uh, I think I'm done, guys. I think we've uh, finally had a look at everything that we need to. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope this has been of interest. And... Good luck for all of you uh, looking for these toys either individually or as pre-ordering the Amazon exclusive Ultrazord version. Uh, do subscribe to the channel, do look out for my um, reviews of the uh, five Zords, the less like stumbly ones. And um, yeah, and uh, more stuff coming as well. I was actually working on a Lightning Collection Wave 1 review, I know, I know last to the party and all that, but obviously I've... Um, I've budged that out of the way to concentrate on this for the moment. Um, I've got a slew of new toys that have just been announced for pre-order, so there's plenty more coming. kind of feel like I've eaten too much ice cream with the amount that uh, have been has been announced lately. Um, and what else? I've also got the Beast Morphers Wave 1 figures, and uh, the Gold Ranger figure has come to the UK now as well. Uh, I'm hoping that Silver shows up quite soon after, because I'd quite like to buy those two together. Uh, we still haven't had the Beast Bot toys here yet, but surely they're due. Um, so I'll, yeah, I'll do the review for the Beast Morphers Wave 1 figures. Um, you can, I'll show you as well. My um, cust I've custom painted the zips on the front of the suits and the silver uh, GB, I guess, in this Grid Battle Force logos. Uh, I think it looks all the better for it. So uh, you can actually see pictures of them now on my Instagram, which is at Power Rangergram. Uh, but yeah, look out for that video as well. So. Um, Thanks everyone for watching this series of videos and see you soon.